Everybody hit your motherfucking places, please. What your mom used to tell you before you used to go in the stove? Don't touch shit. Don't touch shit. Man, come on, bro. You know how many ass whoopers I got for 50 cents? 50 cents. Think about that. I keep bringing this up, man. When we was kids, M&M's was 50 cents even. That's what the taxes included. Ask your mama for some M&M's. Put that goddamn shit down. I ain't got no goddamn money. 50 cents. 50 cents, bro. Even. Two quarters. And the fucked up part is, after your mama told you she ain't have no money, you had to watch that cashier later hand your mama back way more than 50 cents. <laughs> like, I thought you ain't had it. You can't say that. I thought you ain't had it. This is how I knew life was gonna be hard for me as a black person. You remember when you asked your mama for 50 cents? And she said, I ain't got no money. And you said, Mama, but you got. Stay out of my goddamn business. <laughs> but now I look back, and now you got to fact there how old your parents were when they had you. And you ever think back, like, how old your folks were when you was little? Like, nigga, your daddy was 27 with three baby mamas. <laughs> Do you really think this nigga was going to keep a hairline? Get the fuck. <laughs> Is that shit starting to make sense now? Facts. You fuck around and get drunk and ask your mama the wrong shit. Why, why, why you got four baby daddies? <laughs> she got quiet. It's too real. It's too real. <laughs> All right, man. You ready to talk about this shit? Let's do it. All right, man. Before we even get started, though, we got to let them know. The black market is open. You got them right. I seen an old white man on the stock market with one of them, so I knew they was making money. So when I try and bring some of the money blessings up in here, somebody light a money blessing incense. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the black market. I'm your host, Carlos Miller. Yeah. 85 South Show presents. This is what we call the black market, man. You know, we got the black excellence spotlight. And we was on TV being excellent as hell, you feel me? Right. And then we had on these dope-ass custom-made leather jackets, you feel me? It was like a one-on-one, a one-on-one, and a one-on-one. And people was like, where we can get them shits at? Who made them? So I had to go get the man himself who put that dope shit together. My man, Houston Leathers. Yeah. Big Rock. Hey, Rob, welcome to the trap, man. Thanks for having me, bro. How you doing? Man, I'm doing great. I got all your info right here. So it's something, something. Man, I know all everything, bro. It's everything in here. Your baby mama name right there. <laughs> 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 Look, you don't want to talk about it? I just go your birthplace. Chicago, man? Yeah. <laughs> From the shy. First of all, you got to give much love to Chicago, man. Oh, yeah, man. Much love to my hometown, Chicago. Hell, yeah. I had a show in Chicago not too long ago, and then one of the... One of the, you know, one of the gangs was like, man, you funny as hell. And I was like, am I in the gang now? And they was like, hell yeah. <laughs> you know you got a good show when a nigga wants you to be in the gang with him. I ain't gonna say which gang. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Chicago, man? Both sides, well, we can, not both sides, but uh, west side and south side, uh, just between, you know what I'm saying? My, Grandparent and uh, my parents, and then yeah. we, you know, moved down south after that, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah. Shout out to Chat. Not the Chat. Yeah, man. Shout Not out the to Chat. The, yeah, shout out to Chat. That's up his way. He from around there. Yeah. Okay, you, okay, let's, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. over there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the city. So, how, man, how you get just started in the, in the fashion business? Because I feel like you supposed to be up there. Man, shoot, my background is in uh, auto body. We did auto body and painting. I was um, on the uh, Pimp My Ride, the MTV vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with my shops. And, um, you know, with, nowadays you can pretty much get whatever you want in a car. Cars come pretty much standard, unless it's an old school. Oh, now you talking my language. Uh, so, you know, we was doing that, and um, that kind of slowed down around my way in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And um, it's like basically everything kind of transitioned for me, man. I closed my shop. And by me having a um, background in leather and textiles and how things go together and suede and skins and all that. So the niggas don't be knowing about textiles. Facts. Yeah, so we just transitioned that into Houston Leather and Imports. And uh, it's the third year at it. Yeah. It's blessed, blessed to meet you. And, um, yeah, it's been up ever since. Nah, man, I, I got an eye for dope shit. And when I seen what you were making by hand and putting that shit together, I was like, I gotta have me something. You know, I ordered me a couple pieces, and bags and jackets and shit like that. But, like, the attention to detail is what really stands out. And it don't look like nothing that you can go buy. No, the art is in the details, bro. And it's quality, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the art is in the details. There's no cap on it. Um, it's, it's premium pieces, all cut and sew pieces, all one of ones. Yeah. Like, when we made the pieces for you guys, they were all matching, but they were all different. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was a... No, you didn't even know that that's what I was getting them for. I had no clue, bro. Yeah. I had no clue. It's just, it's just when, you, when I dropped them off, you see, you just put them on the show, and it's been up ever since, bro. Man, that's what's up, man. I, I was like, when you first started with the cars, man, what type of shit were you doing with them as far as, like, with the leathers and the custom shit? Well, with the, uh, with the jackets or the cars? The cars. The cars, man, back in the day, we were one of the first shops to put a rear view mirror inside the tag. Excuse me, I'm sorry, man. Rear view camera. Put a rear view camera inside the tag. The backup camera, like what's standard nowadays. Yeah. We was one of the first shops to do that. We was one of the first shops to put the uh, Gucci and Louis actually in the whole interior. Christian Dior, should I uh, suede um, yeah. in, inside the interiors and things like that. So. Yeah. It just, you know, it had its wave. It, it lasted probably about 15 years. It was a good run, but uh, I knew it was something better for me. Yeah. And I always have one of the varsity, <laughs> the, the traditional varsity style jacket. I seen they hadn't been changed in like 30, 40 years. They was all the same. Yeah. I remember back in the day, the eight ball jackets and the, um, you know, the fashion jackets from up in New York, like the stuff Dapper Dan did and stuff like that. So I, I was always kind of drawn to it. And then it just kind of a light bulb went off my head one day, like, nah, you need to, you know, switch over to leather and start doing some cold stuff. Damn, when you said that, I, be, I gotta stop thinking like that. Cause you, when you said the Dapper Dan shit, I was like, damn, we need to open up a store and just call it Drug Dealer Fashions. <laughs> That'll be hard as hell. Bring the music back. I'm thinking too hard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but shit, look at this shit, bro. People asking me. People asked about that jacket like crazy. It was, they got, we got this Facebook group, right? Okay, okay. So they posted them joints and they was asking me to tag you and shit, the shit I sent you. Right. But look, this is the type of, this is the type of shit my man Big Rob be putting out, bro. Atlanta, we had did this promo. We went and did this promo with the Atlanta Hawks and they all gave us our own jersey. Well, you know what our name on it and shit, me, Chico, and D.C. Big Rob said, Los, let me see yours. I was like, I just got it. <laughs> I slid it to him, and he pulled me off something way too slick. So, hell, yeah, that's my, that's my partner in there, man. Where can they reach you and get in touch with you and put their order in and, and, and stuff like that, man? I have a few different places I can be found. Instagram, Houston underscore leathers. Uh, Facebook, Houston Leather and Imports. Or my website, www.houstonleatherandimports.com. Well, you know, this oh, is man. the black market, man. You open to doing, like, collaborations and stuff like that? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I look forward, man, in the future for Houston Leathers to be the go-to brand for anything custom, anything fly as far as leathers, as far as one-on-one -on -one exclusives. Like, there's nobody touching me right now on this. I mean, I'm just that confident. It might man, sound watch cocky, this. I'm about to put you in the game. J-O-N, put that jacket on and model that shit, bro. Yeah. I'm about to do your first commercial for free, bro. Grab the jacket from behind you, J-O-N, and model that shit. <laughs> model, that model that shit, J-O-N. couple black exclusives right there. So that's the Houston, Houston on Leathers exclusive. J-O-N, you like that bitch? Nah, that's cool. That's you? Man, sell me that jacket for J-O-N, bro. Got you, bro. Man, what you want for it? Don't yeah. say it out loud. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. J-O-N need one of them, bro. 
That's all cut and sew. That's all handmade from scratch. Uh, we don't go through a third party. We're not dealing with a wholesaler. I have my own manufacturer, my own production. That is one of my exclusive pieces. Do me one favor. What's that, remember, We was chopping it up. Let them know all, it ain't just leathers. It like, it's no, far, let yeah. them know all the other type of shit that you be getting to, man. Man, we, 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 done, we diving into belts, uh, custom buckles. I got some custom buckles on the way for you. Right. Um, I got, uh, we do custom uh, luxury duffel bags, backpacks. Uh, purses. Purses, yeah, purses for the ladies. But everything cut and sold, like, so what separates us from everyone else? Let's say you go into a Chanel store, whoever, Louis store, you have to buy what's on the shelf. And even if it's dope, you still can't be like, yo, I like that bag, but I want it in white, I want it in green, I want to switch it up. Matter of fact, I want to take the double G's off and put my own logo on it. That's how we rockin'. Hit Big Rob. Fuck buying a Louis bag for Christmas, man. Get your girl her own your shit. Own, it's all 100%. Hand stitch, cowhide, ostrich, um, stingray, salmon, elephant. Elephant, yeah, literally. You were telling me about the yeah, frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stingray, frog, sting, yeah, eel. Yeah. Anything yeah. and yeah. everything, we doing it. It's all, it's whatever you can come up with, however you want to do it, that's what we can put together for you. J O N, that jacket hard on you, bro. It feels good. That motherfucker nice, oh, this ain't is it? quality, too. Man, he need one, man. He need that one. You, ain't, you can't leave with that one, bro. Gotcha. That's a signature series, too. That's got my signature on it, just like my custom. Jack, jersey I got on right here. Yeah, Put yeah. The HL's on the inside. Man, stop playing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to coordinate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't playing with him, bro. Came to take over. I ain't come to play fair. Yeah, that's dope, man. But, shit, I wish you much success, and I know that you're going to go far, especially mm -hmm. when this shit get out. Because, like, this audience here is just... They go crazy for shit like this, man. And we got a lot of up and coming people who got like t-shirt lines and you know, they trying to jump it off. And for you to be able to put a legit sample in their hand, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that's the process of getting you, you know what I'm saying? So if you need somebody that can help you, that can show you some shit who been in the game for a long time, I strongly suggest you hit my man Big Rob over there at Houston Leathers and get your shit together, get your samples together, get your customs together, whatever you need, man. So we doing, we doing that too, bro. We are tapping into um, creating uh, private label situations with other brands. Yeah. And we are the manufacturers behind a lot of different labels and a lot of different brands. We produce their stuff for them. So our name may not be on everything you see, but if it's fly, it's still your we work. probably made it. It's still my work. There it goes. So we move behind the scenes, and if you want to get together and collaborate, yeah, let's, let's do that. Hit me up, Instagram, Houston underscore levels. Well, there you have it, folks. I don't have the long talk you would try to convince you. You see the products. You see what's dope. You don't have this. I do. Hit me, Rob. <laughs> what more can I say, man? The black market, bitch. We out here. Thank you, bro. A little over the shoulder to hold my composure. Yeah.